up to 14th, doing a nice job recovering. Chase Elliott just takes a spot away from this six car for third. And now back on the racetrack with those new tires, gonna look really good right here down in turn three and four. Well, these playoffs, they just bring the pressure. Uh, we, we saw all the mistakes. Think about this. That one team of Chastain, that's the first penalty they've had all year. And it happened at, you know, one of the worst times in the playoffs, and it just shows you the pressure's not just on the drivers, it's also on those teams. You know, you and I had a conversation in the pre-race show about Joe Logano, the champ. Now, in 2022, he didn't set the world to fire through the regular season, had an okay year, but then really showed up. So I went back and kind of dug in what the 22's playoffs looked like a year ago. The worst he was in points was fifth. And at no point was he closer to the cut line than 18 points. So when you look at Logano in the points down here around the cut line at only plus two, I mean, it is real. This, you know, compared to last year, this is unfortunately the, the worst we've seen the 22 perform in the last couple of years. I think shocking. I think that's the, the word I would use. The position that Logano is in right now is shocking. Uh, it's great for us because we've seen what he will do when he's got his back against the wall. Imagine him going to Bristol with his back against the wall. We don't are trying to get by him to take another spot at another point. So he's not going to go down without a fight. That car can't be a lot of fun. And I'm surprised we, not, I'm surprised we haven't heard a lot of radio chatter around this driver. I mean, this is the type of... Uh, one point to the good now. This is the type of run that really a lot of drivers unravel. He's racing pretty hard right now against that 24. He did not want him to get by him. I was talking to Logano this morning, and he said he hoped he'd be able to finish top 10. Like that was his hope. But that's just not the speed that you want coming into the playoffs. That's something changes. He's not going to get the top 10 today. Well, with nine laps to go, in a track where everybody's right around the fence, where we have seen people have some tire issues. The 11 of Denny Hamlin is hoping he's seen clean and green for eight more laps. 2.2 seconds over Reddick, nine and a half back to the nine, as we see a battle between Harvick and the Athlete Ford. So Harvick lost a spot to Bell, that was a point. He's right now plus eight, this is gonna lose another spot, so could drop to plus seven. To the cut line, he's fighting back, trying to keep that. I mean, this matters. That could be the difference uh, in moving on to the next round, battling for this spot right here with eight laps to go. Oh, trouble with the turn one. Busher. 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 Another playoff driver. That's a right rear tire issue, it looks like. Yeah, no caution yet. None, but will the tire basically carcass stay on the car? He's up against the wall, trying to get down off the back. There's the no, yellow. No, no, no. I think you have to throw the yellow with a car that slow up against the wall down the back stretch. He was running in 12th place, 24 points to the good in the playoffs. When he had this problem. So Busher, who had a great last six races, and you see the carcass about to come off of that wheel. How did you know that was going to happen, Steve? You just mentioned that a couple laps ago about tire issues. Well, I put myself in the position of these crew chiefs on the pit box and. You know, what they are doing, to your point, is they're asking themselves every five or ten laps, if the caution comes out, what do I do and what do we need? Now, here I think the decision to pit is clear. Everybody with 40 or 30 laps on their tires, everybody has to come to pit road. But now with this run going to be maybe just, this is all going to be Cross like about a short run, a sprint, almost to the level of qualifying. And we've seen trouble and problems. Here's Chris Busher Jr. getting into turn one with the right rear down. He is so lucky and fortunate there. this happened on the straightaway. Yep. That keeps him out of the uh, fence. Link and everything okay. Yep, that uh, keeps him out of the fence. No tow link issues. No delays on pit road repairing that. The build, I mean, it's it's disappointing. He'll be sad and upset that this has happened to him late in the race. Lost a lot of track position, but he does get to go. Any problem? I don't know how much of a gap we've got over, you know, other cars. I think that's a factor. You know, a lot of cars. That's what I was going to talk about. Right now on this pit stop, we got a lot of lap cars between several cars, so that can affect what you want to do and can do. And also, it can allow your driver to be a little more careful on speeding on pit road, how aggressive he is. 
So what Danny Hamlin is talking about is, see, he's the leader, the 45 a second. You have a gap back to the nine. He can't pull up until these cars turn down onto the flat. So he's going to have a little heads up. Do I think people are going to take rights? You know, this is without a doubt a four-tire pit stop. All right, on to pit road now. All the focus on the crew members. Kim. Richie Billy Scott saying this is exactly what we needed, a reset on a restart. It's going to be four fresh Goodyear tires for Tyler Reddick. He said it built just a little bit freer during that run, Parker. This is the money stop for the 11 team. They were the top three taxes pit crews last week. We'll see what they can pull off here. It's a similar situation for the nine car Chase Elliott down below. They're going to be poor Goodyear tires as well. We'll see you at the fast. 9.6. The best set of tires remaining for Brad Keselowski was the scuff set used from qualifying. Logano gained 12. By Eric Jones, Look, Kyle man. Bush, Logano. We're not exactly sure, but I think that was a two tire stop where he. 99 on old tires, four old tires trying to launch. You're going to have cars with, you know, two old tires on the left side trying to launch. There'll be a lot of challenges. Well, let's see where the 99 goes. He's going to go to the bottom. The, the second and third went to the outside. Logano on the bottom. Hamlin, first guy on four. He goes to the top. 22 knows he's lined up behind the 99 of Suarez on four old tires, so the 22 is going to be trying like to make that, that you, same that's what you, you see it tell Dave when you're up in the grandstands. That's what you'll be seeing. this restart to push the 99 to the lead. He's looking for a way to the inside three wide. Maybe a win. Green flag back in the air. Overtime. Oh. Oh. Handle was sleeping on the start. He did not get a good launch at all. Logano to the inside, three wide. Can he clear? Here comes Jones on the outside. Something's Two wrong. Something's wrong with Suarez. He's dropping like a rock. Larson loses a little Something's wrong with Suarez. He's dropping like a rock. Oh, contact with the five and the eleven. Oh, here we go. White flag. It's gonna be a good one. Look at this. Yo, Reddick's gonna lead it. Oh my god. One more time around. Reddick is gone right now. Look at him go. Look at Reddick go. He's gone. Look at Hamlin digging on the outside. I think Hamlin might get the second for sure. But I think he's going to run out of time. It's all Reddick right now. Look at Hamlin. Reddick is going to win it. Hamlin in the wall. has won three of the last four races here with three different drivers. Kurt Busch, Bubba Wallace, and now Tyler Reddick. Kurt Busch, Bubba Wallace, yes sir. Reddick going up high here for the run off of turn four. He's going to have the momentum. Set this up perfectly. These two drivers slowing each other down side by side for the lead. There's nothing they can do to defend the run he had. Everything worked well for him on the restart to put him in that position. Backwards. That's a massive win. Win for Betty. 23-11 continues there. Control and dominance. But also a massive change. That strategy right there, that call for the 22. He finished. He finished. That was as a big game for where they were going to run. And that Put it on top of the thing. Yeah, for Legato, it's worth about 10 points. That decision. Steering wheel already off for Reddick as he's celebrating. Burning it down right up against the fence. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Get out the car. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was literally thinking in my mind. So, you know, burn it right here by the fans. Why not try to do what uh, Carson Hosevar did? What a run for Reddick. And what a show he has put on for the fans. Dave's down there with him. 
Yeah, Rick, they love that. They didn't see anything like that before. Oh, the steering wheel made it. But then to stand on the gas and do that, man, that was great.